state of emergency has been declared for residents living in Canada's Maritimes after torrential rains and strong winds blasted the region. Some parts of Cape Breton were inundated with more than 200 millimetres of rain. While communities in Newfoundland are recovering from road washouts and infrastructure that blew over during the storm. The intense weather is due to the trail end of Hurricane Matthew. Nova Scotia Power said there were more than 140,000 outages across the province and 55,000 homes and businesses were still in the dark early Tuesday morning. Halifax RCMP are asking drivers to use caution because of water on the roads coupled with downed trees and power lines. In Newfoundland, residents and gas stations in St. Albans were being asked to conserve fuel and stay off roadways. There have been several motor vehicle accidents where people have suffered serious injuries as a result of driving in this storm. Photos on social media show firefighters battling water up to their waist and reaching car windows. Schools have been closed down in Cape Breton and other communities in the area. And as the east cleans up after this horrible storm, the west is about to batten down the hatches as a series of powerful October storms will approach the BC south coast late Wednesday night, bringing heavy rains and strong winds through the weekend. More than 200 millimetres of rain is expected for the west and inland areas of Vancouver Island, while coastal regions could expect 100 millimetres of rain with winds over 80 kilometres an hour. Follow the latest on this wild weather here on Castanet and by using the hashtag BCStorm. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski in Kelowna.